Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. And I am, as always, your host, Christopher Walk, or whatever you're gonna call me. And um, today we're going to talk about, as you can see in the background, as always, um, the Choose Your Self Guide to Wealth by, uh, what is the author called? He is called James all Tucker or Al Tucker or whatever he's called is written James like yeah James and then um Al Tucker like A L T U C H E R and I've actually been um a little bit you know just thinking about him because I have or my birthday is on uh on Saturday is it Saturday yeah Saturday and the thing is, my, um, you know, people do not really know what to, to actually, you know, give me for my birthday. And I, most of the time, like, you know, I, I don't need anything. And it was actually the same with Christmas as well. I was like, to my parents, I do not need anything. All the things I actually want or need are something that you can't really buy. And these are just things I want to achieve. And so... Um, most of the time I just do not want anything um, besides these things on um, which I am working currently anyways. But um, the thing is then someone came up with the idea, so she knows me pretty well, and so she asked me if, you know, she should give me a book, a self-development book or a wealth book or just some sort of non-fiction book, because she knows that I'm really into them, even though I haven't been reading now for quite, quite three weeks now, because, you know, the last two weeks I had my holidays, and then I was just, you know, really just doing the social media stuff and working on these things, and normally I only read when I'm on the way to school, um, but the last few days um, were just like, you know, I had to learn for tests as well. And this is always some kind of struggle because I, I have to work out, I, you know, have to make my videos, I have to make my posts and so on. And all these things are probably made or most of the time then made after school, like today, you know. I came home at, uh, it was like um, 20, to, 20 to 8, so 7 so 7 o'clock and 35 minutes, so a quarter past. Is it a quarter? Three quarters past 7. But anyways, you know what I mean, what, what time. And then uh, then I've, I've worked out for 40 minutes, as I most of the time always do. I stepped up my game to an hour, but today I was like, you know, I won't get anything done if I just do one hour so I just was like you know let's make 40 minutes this this works as well and then I have to eat something and then I have to shower and now I'm sitting here and making the podcast and then some people tell me that you know I do not have any time to do this I just really want to earn money but I do not have the time and then on Saturday they are just going partying and drinking and you know not what what they what they really want to do so maybe yeah they, they want to go to to parties and go to the rink and so on but you know they actually really want the money they actually really want the wealth or certain things and but they don't work and so if you don't work you will not get it that's that's the thing um if you're lucky, you know, you just, you know, win the lottery or something. But most of the time, these winners just get really bankrupt in, you know, a year or something. Because they are not used to, uh, first of all, work for their wealth. And second of all, just handle their wealth. Because most of the time, they just then buy stupid shit um, and then go bankrupt. And that's then it <laughs> for them. And then they have their normal life back. It's... Uh, it happened quite often, I guess. As I know. As I know. I'm just wondering if this is a good idea. 
yeah, should be well, should be fine. So, but we are going to start with the book, and actually with the book in three sentences. And as always, lately, uh, we are on the um, SamuelThomasDavis.com website, so if you're interested in the books I am reading or I am discussing with you, um, just go to their website and there are just a lot of um, other summaries and also some biographies I was reading today in, uh, on the way home, um, which are, I was like, you know, um, just summarizing biographies may not be the best or the, the most interesting thing to read because then it's just their biography, I thought, um, short, just a short biography, but it isn't actually, because there are also some other insights into what they are actually thinking and just their habits and such things. But we are going to start. The book in three sentences. The first one is abundance comes from writing down 10 ideas every day. And the thing is, I don't know what abundance is. I've heard it so often. Okay. So this author, as um, as 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 I was going through um, his his other books, and um, so one of of his books, and then he was talking about in this book about ideas and why he thinks that ideas are just the currency of the twenty first century, and this is actually something that correlates with it. Um, of saying, you know, abundance comes from writing down 10 ideas every day. Because he actually thinks that um, we all should be some sort of, you know, if you if you really want to be wealthy in this um, era or era, sorry, and then you just have to have good ideas. At my point of view, yeah, you can have good ideas and I think it's not that 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 um, that hard or tough to to get great ideas because there's so much that that isn't you know isn't done right now or is not is not right now or needs some kind of change or some kind of how should I say improvement and um, but the thing is most of the people aren't then just you know are they aren't executing their ideas and this is then the point. Um, ideas is the one thing, but executing your ideas is the other thing. Um, but the second one is build a foundation for success. I think everything needs a foundation. If you you know want to start building muscle, your foundation would be then just working out for a wa- for a month or something, doing light workouts and um, just you know really preparing yourself and your body for upcoming more you know, harder physical activities. And for success, it might be the same, or it might not, but it is sure that it is the same. So I don't know. I'm not that successful yet. Um, But maybe someday I will know. The third one is passion. And passion comes from what you're good at. And this is actually something I really believe in. I actually think that most of the time, these things you're good at, you're also passionate at. And this is the reason why I always tend to say that you should be just doing what you love and doing what you like because most of the time you are good at it. So this is just the other way around it. And so for me, you know, it's it's the key for a happy life. Just doing something you really love or like because most of the time, as I said, you are good at it. And then you might becoming, you know, the, the really best of the world. And then it is like you are um, actually talented in it before or right now. And then you're working on it every day because, you know, work takes up a lot of, a lot of, a fuck a lot of time of your life. And then you just work this much of a time on these skills or this skill that you're also or actually now good at. And then you just get really great at it. Um, but yeah. The five big ideas of this books of this books. I always say, why do I say books? Um, the first the first one is the only skill you need to be an entrepreneur or entrepreneur are an ability to fail, an ability to have ideas and to sell those ideas, the courage to execute and those on those ideas, 
and to be persistent so even as you fail you learn and move on to the next adventure and for me failing is something that's that's something i i you know it's hard for me to to um to take it to take it in terms of you know taking it as a good thing because you know through failure you just learn a lot and you get better through failure but i hate failing I've talked about it once or twice or three times or whatever, um, but the thing is, I actually like or really hate, I really hate, and I can't help myself, I really hate to fail. In every aspect of my life, it doesn't matter. Um, this is actually something I have to work on because, you know, I've heard it so often, I've heard it so fucking often that failing is, is actually a good thing and I believe in it. This is the funny part about it. Um, failing is indeed great because then you know what you aren't that good at. Um, this is also something that's that has something to do with what I was just talking about, you know, just doing what you like or just doing what you're good at, is that you have to try out things or, you know, yeah, have to try out all different things to know even if you're good at these things or if you're bad at these things or so on and so on. And But the thing is, if you don't fail then, you will never know if you're good at it or if you're bad at it, if you're just really bad, shit bad at it or really good at it. Um, so in this terms, failing is actually good, but failing makes me very aggressive. Maybe it's because I'm in general a pretty aggressive person, um, but yeah, actually failing is something good. Just, you know, keep that in mind. The second one is ask, what can I do right now to move forward in this second? This is actually, as I was going through this, this article to see if there is something in it, um, this was actually some kind of the, the trigger that made me choose this one because I actually think that um, this is a great question to ask yourself because um, if you just ask yourself this um, often during the day or during your, your lifespan or it just during some kind of uh, time span, you just really some kind of force yourself to to really move on or just look for ways to move on. So the thing is, um, then you really have to know your goals and your values. And if you know these things, and you you know you may be in the bus just browsing through Instagram and just you know, you know doing this normal this normal shit a lot of people are doing. And then you ask yourself, what could I do right now that, um, you know, makes me move forward in, in this right second? And then you may realize that, you know, browsing through Instagram may not be the right thing or the thing that would make you move forward. And then you ask, what it is then? And then you might come to the conclusion, yeah, I'll listen to a podcast, I'll read something, I'll... Um, read something on the internet, I'll do something else, um, you know, doing something that's, or actually even browsing through Instagram, but some kind of consciously. And this is a great question. The third one is choosing yourself right now in how you treat yourself, how you treat the people around you, and how you treat your efforts and your loves. Nothing is more important than this. Um, I actually think that this is this is something I was thinking about in the train today to my way home. Um, if it is actually like, you know, if you're judging yourself or treating yourself bad, if it then is just like you are treating others bad as well. Sorry. If it's even the case. But I don't know. Um, I think some sort of yes by now. I just, just say yes. Because it, it feels like, yes. Um, just I just imagine like, you know, me really being really being mad at me and being mad at myself and just being pretty aggressive with with me because I failed, for example, in a in a sports game or whatever. I just failed somewhere. And then I'm pretty aggressive or mad at myself, and then automatically I'm not, you know, that, that funny guy to talk to right in these moments. And um, then it would be like, yeah, it is actually like, you know, if you treat yourself bad or, you know, not, not, not good, 
then you're actually maybe treating others not good and this shouldn't really not be the case. The fourth one is when you have ideas you will click qu quickly, quickly get freedom. When you get freedom you will have the energy to build more ideas, to generate more abundance, to live the life you want to live. Um, and I think it's in terms of having good ideas. Um, it's, I think, something I've experienced as well. Um, the thing is, if you really have good ideas in terms of me just creating something um, graphic designish, some you know something that has something to do with graphic design, and often it is like you know if you have a great idea from the very start on, then it is very easy to work on these things because you just get this idea and that idea and the next idea and so on and this is this really builds up um, until you you're finished and I think the author means that the fifth one is every day give the world at least one more reason to whisper thank you to you if you can hear that whisper everything else every gift in life becomes expected because you earned it um, this is also a good advice to just give back something to to the world or to the people um even maybe if they haven't given you something um just just being your best all the time and just being kind i think in my point of view kindness even though it's you know maybe it's a little bit of hype nowadays that being kind is you know that the trendy thing and so on um i actually believe in it that it is actually pretty important because if you're an asshole, you cannot work with people. And, you know, without working with people or without being able to work with people, how would you be able to really, you know, build up the business or um, get these contacts with people to network and so on? And, you know, it makes everything better. You will feel better because you're actually a nice person and the people you're just surrounding yourself with or you're talking with will feel even better because they are like you know wow this this person is actually very very nice to me and and to others and you know it's it's unfortunately not that that common but let's move ahead and yeah this this will work Let's go ahead with the actual summary. When you are in the idea machine, nothing can stop you. This is where abundance is. And this is where seeds are planted. And this is where you dip into other dimensions not yet created. And I think this is just the thing that I was talking about. If you just get ideas after ideas and after ideas. And um, sometimes it, it stops, yeah. but And sometimes it's, it's not working that well or not going that well. But that's okay. Um, true wealth occurs when you don't have to bow down to any gatekeepers. Regardless of the money involved, money is just a byproduct. You are out of prison, you are free. And this is, I, I really love the author for just saying this, that money is a byproduct. For me, and this is something I've, or I really try to focus on and I really try to, to, to give my, my energy, in, even though it's, to be honest, you know, not not that, not that um, you know, consistently in my mind, or I just do not remember myself often enough, I guess. And the thing is, I really try to help help people, and I know that by helping people and just creating solutions for problems people have, money will be a byproduct. Um, which means that if you just focus on helping the people, and just try to to. To really help them and and you know not one person but a lot of persons these will be just thrilled or just you know happy to give you their their money because they see you as a solution for the problem and or as you know some kind of hero i guess even and this is something i know and this is something that makes total sense for me and you know the first time i, I heard it i was like oh my god that's 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 true you know that's that's the real thing so if you really want to make money chasing only the money is the right thing is isn't the right thing to do so if you want money don't chase the money if you want money do something else just you know chase happy people or making happy making people happy or chase i don't know good charity work or something like that but not money because 
also Gary V says it and you know it's not like you know yeah it's you know it's saying what it's it is what Gary V is saying and so it is actually so true and just you know listen to me and I don't know but um, he also said that only chasing money is often the fastest way to not get it but let's go ahead the only way to have success is to build the foundation for it yeah I, I've spoken about this Here's a secret, you don't have to worry about finding your passion, you're naturally going to get passionate about what you're good at, which is totally true. Get paid, get laid, lose weight are the three things people will pay for. <laughs> uh, actually right, everybody wants to be a little bit more wealthy, everybody wants their sexual contacts and everybody or a lot of people want to lose weight. Um, just, I, I really have to say this now. Um, I'm in the picture. Yes, I'm in the picture. Just doing like this. If you're really into losing weight, um, the fastest way is just to, to, to get moving. It's the first one. Um, the second one is not really eating things that are high in calories but low in volume. So what are things that are high in calories and low in volume? Uh, things like chocolate. Things like... Um, sweet in, sweets in general, I think. Um, meat, I would say, as well. So just most of the time, all these unhealthy things. And what I mean by by a lot of calories, but, you know, uh, what did I say? But, but, but low volume is that you can eat a lot, a ton, a lot of it, without really being, being like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm finished now. And the thing is with, Things that are low in calories but high in volume, like potatoes or rice, but and potatoes, pot potatoes, a little bit more than rice is that um, you can't just eat such a lot of it. You know, I can just eat, I think, five potatoes and then I'm done. You know, literally done. And it's the same with fruits. You can't really. So the thing is, a lot of people say to me like, you know. In fruits, there is also sugar, and so why do you cut the, 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 the all the sugar out of your diet? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And then I'm like, you know, um, one thing is that you can't be eating that much apples than sweets. You can maybe just eat three, four, five apples, and then you're done. But sweets, you can really eat just tons of. At my point of view, so I'm talking about myself. It's if it's not like the same for you, it's totally okay. Um, but yeah, so so get moving, doing sports, and just eating healthier or things with high volume and low calories. And this is it. And maybe just eating less, having um, you know, not as much calories as you have now, or eat the same or and work out. This would be also, you know, just, you know, burn some calories and not have the, the same exact intake of calories as well. But uh, come up with 10 ideas you can write newsletters about. They don't have to be in the both three categories. This is actually a good idea. Just write down ideas that can be written in newsletter, newsletters, uh, newsletters. I have never once seen anyone save the increase anyone saved the increase they received in their salary. Okay, I don't get that right now, but I have to hurry up a little bit. Only free, only free time, imagination, creativity, and an ability to disappear while help, will help, sorry, will help you deliver value that nobody ever delivered before in the history of humankind. So, only free time, so I think less time, only free time, imagi Im imagination, creativity, and an ability to disappear. I don't know what that means or what he, he wants to say with that. Will help you deliver a value that nobody ever delivered before in the history of humankind. I think, or something I can talk about is actually the imagination, the creativity, and you will need the time, yeah. So all the three things, but not the fourth one. So I don't know what he means by disappearing. So disappearing for me seems not or sounds not 
not that good. <laughs> um, but free time is actually, you know, makes sense because you need some time to create something. The imagination, so actually being able to think of these ideas or this idea. And the third one, just the creativity of, you know, creating this idea or thinking of this creative idea. Uh, idea and actually at my point of view being able to to really execute it because um, this is also some kind of creativity to know how you execute something and how you will do something that it will be you know maybe successful or you know let the chances be higher to to let it be successful the only skill you need to be an entrepreneur are an ability to fail and ability to have and this is something i've read Abundance only comes, but I'll, I'll go through it quickly. The only skills you need to be or you need to be an entrepreneur are an ability to fail, an ability to have ideas and to sell those ideas, the courage to execute and those on those ideas and to be persistent so even as you fail, you learn and move on to the next adventure. Abundance only comes when you are moving along your themes, when you are truly enhancing the lives of people around you. Um, yeah, that's true. And I think I've, I've, I've talked enough about it. <laughs> ideas are the currency of life. So now we are actually, again, in the currency thing. Sorry. Not money because... Not money. Because money can run out. Money gets depleted until you go broke. But good ideas buy you good experiences. Buy you better, buy you better ideas, buy you better experiences, buy you more time, save your life... Financial wealth is a side effect of the runner's high of your idea muscle. muscle. That's actually right, because um, having great ideas can actually save you time and then some, some sort of your life. Because if you have a great idea of, you know, um, just not, not maybe not watching that much of TV, you're getting a lot more time back. Or if you have a good idea to just, you know, cut back on 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 your work time, then, you know, you just have more time for what you like. Because I, I just pointed out because it's, it's a pretty funny thing. Because most of the time it's like, you know, uh, time is the only thing that, that you can't really create or, or I don't know. But this is, this is, this is actually true. But with good ideas, you can just compro compromise it some sort of. Often the best way to make friends and customers for life is to direct them to a better service or product than to yours. Which is actually true. And I think it has a lot to do with, you know, being truthful to yourself as well. Because if you really know that um, you have a customer and your product may not be the best for him, just you know, yeah, let let them work with somebody else. You know, some you know, uh, not really a lot of people would do this. And so, if you just are these people or are this person, then you know, the people you were helping with with your um, with your decision of just you know letting them work with someone else, you know, will will make them just really happy about you that you just just you know directed them to another another um, product or service and this has then something to do with kindness and at my point of view kindness is pretty important <laughs> when you get in the door do not sell your product people make a decision on your product in five seconds sell the dream build up imag images of the dream give a taste of what the dream is like let it linger let it weave itself or wave itself let the imagination of the buyer take hold and run with it the dream has up to infinity in value that's actually true because you know we we aren't really buying products we are only just buying the feelings we get through these products and today we'll post a we'll post a post about um about this and then i made an example of you know why people actually buy a lamborghini and the thing is, I think that they aren't buying the Lamborghini because it is fast or not really often and or because it's it's greatly designed. You know, there are, um, of course, some people who are 
like you know i i really like how this car is looking like and you know i have the wealth i have the money and so i'll buy it because it's it's also some kind of dream of of mine um uh, maybe even and but the thing is most of the time at my point of view people are just buying these things to um you know to to have the feeling of impressing others of some kind of importance or attention and or i don't know just feeling rich and wealthy and just these these feelings and maybe not even all these negative ones but also feeling like being fast or uh, having the great feeling of this you know just maneuvering this expensive and really powerful car through the streets and just having this this feeling you know it's it also can be like uh, something like this don't do something just for the money money is a side effect of persistence you persist in things you are interested in explore your interests then persist then enjoy all the side effects yeah i think because if you're doing something only because of the money that is actually not really something you like you're just pretty much hurting yourself because you know you're just doing something that's drowning your soul and drowning your body all the time and it it won't make you happy even though you have a lot of money and the thing is the money itself won't make you happy you then might just be able to buy yourself the lamborghini or the nice house or the nice car another car or the nice the nice watch or something like this but just then you know after some time you will have everything you ever wanted and then you're like you know my job is shit and and i have everything what what do i want now and then it really comes up to having something that you can't actually buy and um you know building a business is something you yeah you can buy you can just buy and build business but building a business is is an experience building muscle is an experience um traveling is an experience um so i just see now that this often about experiences uh the, the definition of success for me is uh is today successful i think it's in terms of you know just the persistence thing so if you can say that today was a successful day and you can say this every day and every week and every month or just you know in total like it must not be every day i think you know there were some days that didn't went so well as you expected them but um the thing is i think like yeah if you can say for the week or for the month everything went good and everything was successful then you know it just leads you to a successful year and then to a successful life in just the the big macro or i i do do not really know the micro and macro thing so macro yeah thank you and micro yeah it's just the same i'll have to look this up afterwards i really have to and today is the only day i need to think about success and every se- successful tomorrow is determined by one thing having a successful today and this is totally true just if you um lay the 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 foundation for your success today you just can build upon it tomorrow and you know the next day and the next week and the next month and so on connecting people who can benefit each other is the most useful skill you can have on the entrepreneurial ladder of skills which also has something to do with kindness and is some kind of the same same example with you know just directing people to a better product than yours ask what can i do right now to move forward in this second i've talked about this choosing yourself right now and how you treat yourself i've talked about this we love our excuses that's actually true they are just as much our babies as our ideas are people have excuses all the time it's just enormous it's it's so interesting to see that people are always just talking about their excuses you know i can't do this because of that and so on and most of the time it's just over complicating things and um yeah i don't have the goal to this i don't have the goal to this by x date i have a theme that i want to have a high quality of life until the day i die 
so I don't have the goal, do this by X date. I have a theme that I want, I don't actually know what, what he wants to say with the sentence. I think it's some kind of, um, some kind of you know, rule for yourself or just some, some kind of you can then live up to. When you have ideas, you will quickly get freedom. When you get freedom, you will have the energy to build more ideas, to generate more abundance and to live the life you want to live. Every day, give the world at least one more reason to whisper thank you to you. If you can hear that whisper, everything else, every gift in life becomes expected and you earned it. And this was it with this episode and this article. And it really went, went really well today. And I'm pretty happy about it because, you know, everything was successful today, actually. <laughs> and um, everything went well. Um, the book is actually pretty good. Or just you know, a lot of things I can talk about, which, which then makes me happy because there is something I can give you. And also the thing is that the book itself is or has a lot of great ideas or um, mindsets or just perspectives that I enjoy, I pretty much enjoy. But if there, is, if there is a question or any question or anything you want to tell me, all the social media links should be down in the description or just, you know, if you're on a podcast or if you are on YouTube, there should be somewhere any links um, where you can contact me or DM me or, you know, write a comment on any post. But I will see you the next time and I hope you have a wonderful day or night, whatever. I love you.